Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, where last time we freed uh, the fishing village, Sam Kosetsu, got the I Imperials out of town thanks to the Confederacy, and now before we continue on, let's help out the small folk with, the tr with their troubles. So we helped a uh, old kid uh, learn to swim to that boat out there. Now he's all good. Let's see what uh, uh, Zetsu says. Let's see, so I imagine just a side quest, not a side story like some of these are. Regardless of what it takes, I must find a way to leave my hands on... Aha, uh -huh, you. Yes, you. My friend. There's no mistaking that daring glint in your eye. You must be an adventurer. Might you have? Might you agree to lend this fellow, fellow a hand? You see, the wildfowl that settle in this area around this time like to collect shiny objects for their nests. While most would consider what they gather to be rubbish, there are some who see it as incredibly valuable. Treasure, even. As can be expected of birds, wildfowl tend to build their nests upon plateaus or other extremely high, high and hard-to-reach places. Added to that, there would be... there. Uh, should there happen to be eggs in the nest you are looking through, you, you risk, risk raising the ire of the mother bird. Ugh. For a man of your caliber, however, neither of these things should pose any challenge. Please search the nest and bring, back, bring me back some of their treasure. About three sparkly trinkets should do nicely. Okay. But you know, we're going to collect all of the side quests first. As I intend to do. Was there 180? Okay. Wow, that's way down here. I think he's... He's one of those quests that expect me to finish my uh, ability to fly. That's probably why I guess so many showed up. Probably there were some land ones and some air ones. But since I got unlocked them both at the same time, all of them popped at once. Alright. This is side story here. Huh, an outsider. Those firm arms and lean shoulders. You look to be as strong as ten Asari men. Thank the Kami for, for sending you, you to us. There's a young man who needs your help. One of our fishermen, Noyoshi, has been uh, cornered by a fiendish beast. While we desperately want to rush, rush to his aid, I fear not even the combined strength of our village will be enough to repel it. Please, you must save him. I'm afraid you might be the only one who can. Okay. Well, that's in this direction. Oh, wait, there's multiple of the... the, the Plunder on high. But our friend over there is th the thrice cursed. Is at the other side of all these guys. So. Well, first we're going to talk to uh, Abiki here. Oh, you must be one of those. What are they called again? Adventurers. Yes, I can see it in your eyes. You are used to battle. In fact, I think a part of you even thrives on it. Uh, guilty as charged. All of us on this island are, in contrast, but humble fishermen. We know n not how to fight. This is problematic as lately we have been p we have been plagued by terrible monsters, which come to devour the fish from our nets and threaten our very livelihood. In fact, just the other day they completely destroyed our fishing grounds near Onokoro. I fear, should this continue, our village will no longer be able to sustain itself. Thus, I turn to you for aid. Might you dispatch them for us? You will, of course, be compensated for your services. The beasts are to the north of here. Please see that they are slain. Okay. A simple kill quest. Kensui. Uh, when will I see you again, my sweet? Er, uh, er. Uh. You were not supposed to hear that. Though, now that you have, mayhap you can assist me in my quest to find the woman who has so captured my heart. Every night, as the moon reaches its zenith, the winds will carry the uh, mellifluous sound of a woman singing. The other evening, I tried to learn where it was coming from and came across a beautiful woman with long black hair. As soon as I made to, as soon as I made to approach her, however, she took to the waters and disappeared in the direction of Anokoro. My father insists it, it was simply a dream, but I know better. This lovely lady, she is a pirate, I'm certain of it. The village elders have recently arranged for me to wed, but before I go through with this marriage, I need to speak to her, even if it's just once. Please, might you help me find her? Okay. 
Oh, I need to charge up, too, so... So I'm gonna be fighting here pretty soon. Alright. Isago? An adventurer, Kami me praise. I need you to do something for me. Of course you do. You see, my husband has taken ill and is currently bedridden. Unless he returns to work soon, we will be in dire straits. To speed his recovery along, I'm thinking of making him a hearty stew and need, need your help gathering some of the necessary ingredients. Please bring me a handful of vile shrooms that grow north of here, three slabs of island uh, gatan meat, and some cr crimson seagrass from the Isle of Zeki. Here's my shopping list. Go get them. I see how it is. All right, I think plunder on high we will do last because that seems to be like I'm going to be flying everywhere. And I have one more side quest to pick up, so. Ah, uh, if it isn't an adventure, how would you like to go on a treasure hunt? The item I would have you search for can only be found on remote islands. The most sane men would avoid s such places, and they're often overrun with all manner of terrible beasts. But you look like you would relish the challenge. I would have you go to the Isle of Beko. The only individuals who dare, that dare set foot upon its soils are occasionally in the cogent of the blue who enter and exit the neighboring seas. There, you'll be able to find something known as Blessing Stones. They are round, white, and just a bit warm to the touch. Bring, bring one back for me, will you? Okay. Well, let's hit the northern stuff first. One being right here. Oh, Neo Yoshi. And he is for the side story. Oh, he caught a Shira Dewey. Uh, Featherfoot saved me. Thank you. I guess I had to save Featherfoot there. And done. Or done enough. Featherfoot got the last hit. Alright. How you doing, pal? You okay? You, you saved my life. Thank you. Having been born and raised in this quaint, quaint village, I always knew I would be laid to rest here. Just never did I realize that the time may come so soon. May I have your name? Ravenous. Ravenous the God Slayer. Master Kurahi. Oh, I guess I would have told him my last name too. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Even among the numerous beasts I've reeled in from the sea, this one is particularly terrifying. I wish I, I wish I knew what about me continues to attract these fiendish creatures. Uh, if only I could learn the answer and find a way to get half as many fish to bite. Either way, I would like to properly thank you. Please, if you would, accompany back to the village that I might give you a gift for your troubles. Alright, well, there's that one done. Kinda. Side story, so there's gonna be more to that one. There we go. Got to kill the beasts. Which one was this for, anyway? I don't know. Maybe this is one of the best ones? I don't know. Oh, it's the meat. Got it. That's the thing with these, uh, when you take on multiple side quests like this, like, I forget which one this one's for. At least until you do it, so. Right, so it's one of them. Alright, nothing here for me yet. Yet. Alright, what is... Oh, there's something down there. Hop. Hop. Alright, go, 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 survey. 
four, three, two, one. Haha, <laughs> got it. Okay, this is the regular monster slaying one. Go to the destination, slay the monsters, yada yada yada. There we go. Hey, another one. Another two, actually. Make sure to get him so he's not bothering Featherfoot. You know, if I had known there was going to be more, I would not have used Tornado Kick. Oh well. Any more? Okay. Take you out then. Get that last slab of meat. Do -do -do -do. So I gotta do my day job. Punching beasts. And there we go. Three slabs of meat. There seems to be more stuff over here, like the mushrooms, perhaps? Okay, let's go over here. Can I get that without... Nope. Both of you guys want a piece. Okay, fine. I'll give you a piece. Just keep at it. I timed that slightly wrong. That's okay. Yeah, just punch, 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 punch. All right. Oh, it's a Vim Shroom, not Vile Shroom. Okay. Oh, okay, that bird is going to leave me alone because he is a B-class hunt. Well, looks like I'm not going through this way. I mean, blocked by rocks. Okay. We'll probably deal with that in the main story. All right. Oh, damn it. That means I could have gotten all three slabs of meat just by going for the Vim Shrooms. Oh, well. By the way, if you notice that my experience bar is a bit higher than it was in the last episode, I did uh, some of more of the uh, hugs. But you guys have already seen those things before. Like I said in numerous other videos, I don't, I don't really want it have you guys sit through things you've seen before. This is boring. I'll do the grind on my own time so that way you guys can get all the new stuff. Alright, so that finishes this side. I guess the other okay, the other monster is on the south end. So let's go over and find out where uh, the black haired woman Blessing at sea as well. Oh! Wait, 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 I'm down there. Alright. So what I'll do is I'll uh, lap around. I'm going to go clockwise around the sea. Especially because I can fly now at an end that's at an accelerated speed. Onyx Herod Maiden. Jet Black Herod Maiden. Any others? No? Okay. Hi. Me? A singer? 
I mean, I'm often told I have a sultry voice. Perhaps it's, it's from all the <clears throat> drinking. But I sure as hell can't. I can't sing. Okay, what about you? Can you sing? Sometimes I'll hug to myself as I row out to sea. Sadly, that isn't the extent of my singing abilities. Okay, so there should be one more. There you are. Oh, alright, come on. Ah, stop getting stuck on things. Thank you. Uh, to learn the, the answer to that, I suggest you speak with our watchman up above. He is charged with surveying Asari at night. Okay. Do you know think about this? I know of her. Seen her several times, in fact. You have no luck finding her, though. The girl you speak of? She is from Sui no Sato. It's a village that lies at the bottom of the sea. No one can tell you where it is or how to get there. Even if they could, they would likely drown trying to swim there. Ah, okay. Well, I know where to go. So we'll go there and then uh, head on over to the island over there. Alright, so let's head on down. I'll use the cloud, why not? Just because I'm also flying. And in we go. Now, oh, why'd you put me on the ground? I want to continue flying. All right. Where are you? This way. There's one. You have come here on behalf of a young man searching for a woman who sings in the moonlight? Uh, had I known anyone was watching, I would have quit long ago. From now on, I shall be avoiding that area. Please tell your friend to forget about me. He and I, we come from two different worlds. It would never work. Let him know he ha he shan't ever be seeing me again. Oh, it's a fairy tale. A bit sad, but that he she's she, she going to drop it like that. But whatever. If she did no interest in him. Then who's to say? All right, but that is a quest that is listed as complete. So we'll check that off bring up the other one. Oh! There is a couple up here, so let's head on up. Surface! 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 Because there's one on this way. Yeah, I forgot that there was some over here, so... But it's because it's a yellow map and it's, uh, you know, a slightly transparent orange circle. So, that's okay. We can get things done quickly because we can fly now. And this one I can only do because I can fly now. Alright, here we are. Let's see. Uh, nothing but eggs. Oh, hi. Get ready for these eggs to be orphans. Eh, some predator will come by and uh, have a meal. I mean, that's nature for you. Honestly, I would, if it'll let me, I would have collected the eggs and used them for cooking. 
I mean, I'm going to be leveling my crafters. You shift through the nose, your hand marches up against something hard and gold. You found treasure! Yay! Alright, now the next one is over this way. While we're here, we can get a closer look at this thing here. Uh, heaven on high, was it? Whoa, it's... Looks mechanical. Not stone, but it looks like... I wouldn't say elegant tag, but I can fly no higher. But it sure goes pretty high. Yeah, I wonder if that is the uh, new deep dungeon. Or in this case, tall dungeon. Alright, but we need to go over here. I don't mind this island anymore because I can fly over it. We have, ooh, a vista. All right, anything in here or just eggs? Let's see, is it not where you find the treasure? Search elsewhere, all right. What is it still below? Treasure? Do a look out. There we go. There's another nest over there. Oh, good. So I guess I'll continue to glow until I find something. Alright. Treasure! Hostile! These aren't eggs, these aren't your babies. This is treasure. Treasure is for people, not birds. Baby bird people, but not regular birds. Let's take these guys out. All right, finish, finish this, thank you. All right. And then we charge up and head to our next destination. To think there's two villages down there and a palace under there, all the way over there underneath everything. Like I said when we first got here, this place is seriously two zones in one. Alright. What do we have here? Alright. Oh, a, bless a blessing stone. Do you want to need? Probably. Got it. Okay, so let's mark that one off. Check. And that means the uh, the rest of them are over here. Yep. So we'll go ahead to the uh, wonder on high first. There, we need to do the health and sick and health and sickness, which is oh, the crimson seagrass is over there. Okay. Oh, the nest would be right there. I see. You just fly right over here and sparkly. Anything? Treasure. Hey, and no more. 
no more defenses, so check that off. All right, so we need to go back into Zeki. Oh, he's going right there. Come on. No, because it's like wanting to use my uh, UI instead of the things out in the world. It's okay. It's okay. And over here. See, this is why they didn't let me fly earlier. Because I can just go like everywhere I want and be unobstructed. So, if many people find getting the Aether Currents annoying, you know, there's a reason for it. Because we, they can't fly throughout an entire zone when, you know, everything is supposed to take place down on the ground. So, 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 All right. Uh, oh, wait, you'd be up here, right? Yeah, I get you. Now... The finding the the world ones, you know that eh, I can take it or leave it, but definitely the the one connected to the main story, that one I can see as being super important to keep as part of the main story, because pretty much once we're done with these side quests, we should be done with this zone. I mean, technically we could skip these side quests and be done with the zone. But I like to complete, I like to get my experience. And sometimes these stories are really good. So, oh, here we go. Hopefully this won't bother uh, with that fisherman over there. Let's go over here, maybe they'll, uh, we can pull them away. All right. And give him a nice uppercut, and that's done. Oh, wait, forgot. More, more to come. Luckily, I did Tornado Kick this time. Fishy, fishy, fishy. You're dead. Are we done? Okay, we're done. Alright, you are done. Check, check. You are done. Check. Check. So the only one left that's not, like, complete, complete. Hey, let me fly already. I guess not. There are errors. Okay, well... This is weird. Oh. Okay, now it's charging up. But what do I did before? Weird. Alright, but let's go ahead and turn stuff in. I'm assuming I must find a way to equip. Here you go. Ah, you're back, and would you look at that? You have brought me the wild wildfowl treasure. Thank you. With this, I might be able to extract an answer from my, those miserly blue cosian. Lately, we have, we have faced a sudden surge of beasts in the region. This, is, this has scared away, uh, our fish away, and as the people of the sea, the cosian are the only ones who know where, uh, know where they may have migrated to. While generally an am amicable people, they are merchants to the core and will take any opportunity they can to earn a bit extra bit of coin. Thankfully, they never ask for too much. Now this, to us, may be junk, but to them, they're priceless treasures. Ha ha ha. Okay. Well, Yoshi, what have you done? Yet again, you nearly get yourself and everyone else here killed. Copy for a fen that you ever take the fishing rod, take up a fishing rod again. 
Everyone is terrified, not only for you, but for the whole village. That hellish monster you brought us is going to do us all in. I I'm sorry, everyone. I tru Truly, I am. Oh, Master Kurohi, thank you for coming all this way. Unfortunately, I will not be able to get you your gift, uh, gift to you at just yet. It seems some of my fellow fishermen wish to have a word with me. What the hell is wrong with you, Naoshi? Do you not realize the peril you put us in every time you go fishing? It's past time you hang up your rod. We will have no more of this. But please, anything but that. How am I to eat if I cannot fish? The village needs come first. We will never know peace so long as you are out in the water was reeling in beast after ferocious beast. They are so shaken they will not listen to reason. Perhaps if you were to soothe them, uh, they will become more receptive. Please, start with Kur uh, Kururi. She's a good friend. Soothe Kururi. Alright. There, there. Y you killed the beast, uh, Naoshi fish from the sea? Then we are safe. For now. Listen up, er uh, everyone, listen up. This kind gentleman has slain the monster. Neither we nor the village are in danger any longer. We shall have a stern word with Naoshi while the rest of you go back to work. Or have you all already fulfilled your quotas for the day? Well, no. But you cannot keep letting him off the hook like this. Uh, your friendship is something I'll never understand. Is that how it... How is it that the vi village's best diver is friends with the village's worst fisherman? We were born the same year, and he and he lived, but a stone's throw away from me. It's only natural. That's not important. It's time you all return to work. Yeah. Fine, but for everyone's sake, you had better find a way to convince him to quit fishing. Master Kurohi, thank you for that. It seems it seems I am once again in your debt. I too owe you my thanks, sir. And I must also apologize for the trouble Naoshi has caused you. As for you, how many times have I, at, have I asked, pleaded with you even, to quit fishing? Everyone is fed up with your antics. If I was not your friend, you would be in great, a great deal of trouble right now. Every time you promise it will not ha every time you promise it will not happen again, it does. You keep fishing monsters from the sea, uh, even more dangerous than the last. This cannot continue. We are a poor village. You must find a different job, a way to make yourself useful. Uh, Koyuri, that it's not as easy as you make it sound. We are a village, village of fishermen. How am, I, how am I to show my face in public if I do not bring home fish, however minuscule the amount? Uh, you're far too stubborn for your own or anyone else's good. Fine. You shall be granted one final chance. Next time you, we go fishing, you must catch at least half the number of fish I do. Anything less, and you are to give up fishing for good. She cannot be serious, can she? Even on my best days, I can barely catch enough fish to feed myself. Uh, either way, everyone's stares, stares are starting to make me feel uncomfortable. Please join me behind the large boulders yonder. I would like to give you something. Okay. We'll do. We'll turn that into to Naoshi last because we're going to have to finish his story next time. But for now, let's turn all these in. Now that all these jobs are done. So the maiden with black hair. She is from Sayo Dosato. Yeah, Sui Dosato. Uh, she is right. Our worlds, our differences, they are uh, irreconcilable. Irreco uh, irreconcilable. Perhaps my father was right. Maybe I was chasing a dream after all. You see, one of my ancestors was once asked to save an injured Kojin, injured Kojin by a girl from Sayanasato. In return for his help, they took him underwater to voyage his depths. He never returned. No doubt he was devoured by some gruesome sea monster. As such, it's probably for the best things ended this way. Uh, I think I am going to stay here for a bit. The seas are beautiful tonight, and I want to continue dreaming for just a little bit, a little longer. Well, that's sad. 
All right, here's your stuff for your husband. Oh, welcome back. Were you able to find everything I asked for? Yes, yes, and yes. There you go. Fantastic. Now all that's left for me to do is dump these in a pot and allow the ingredients to stew. While the fish we catch here are excellent, eating the same thing day in and day out is not exactly healthy. A well-balanced balanced diet must, must include uh, meat and a variety of vegetables. Thank you, sir. Hopefully the food you gather will, will have my husband back to full strength in no time. Yay! I killed your monsters. Ah, might you return to me? Oh, so he wanted the blessing stone. Ah, might you? Uh, might you return me? I shall receive my blessing stone. There you go. It's so large, warm, and smooth. This will make the perfect pillow. Not that I. Not that that's how it should ever be put to use, mind you. You see, blessing stones are well these gifts left behind by seabirds. You can find them in, in remote areas because they're, they're shy creatures that prefer to settle far away from people. Huh, what, what do I mean by gift, you ask? <laughs> That's what we call a pile of bird shite, of course. I hope you use gloves. We currently lack fertilizer. Uh, once, this is, once this is ground to a fine powder, we should have enough to cover, uh, cover all our fields. Not only, though, not, not only do these stones bring us bounty of crops, but during the season, our hauls of fish are, are, uh, are uh, but during the season, our haul, hauls of fish are meager. We make a living selling these in, in Anami. Hence the name Blessing Stones. They are one of the many gifts the sea has bestowed upon us. Any road here you are. Thanks for your help. Ew. And you, adventure, you return. Uh, those, fleck, those flecks of blood upon you, it appears that we need not worry about the monsters anymore. Thank you. Uh, in a time before the Empire occupied Doma, our men were as adept at wielding swords as they were rods. They would gather together in the village and then head out to slaughter whoever or whatever disturbed us. Now, however, such an action would be considered an attempt at rebellion. We are extremely fortunate to have you visit when you did. Please come back to our island any time. We will be sure to give you a warm welcome when you do. All right. Now let's go check on Naoshi and finish the episode. A little long, but that's okay. We're getting stuff done, and we'll try to finish the si Naoshi side story next time, and then continue the main story. All right, so he is back here. Way back here. I guess I'm not going that way either. I guess I can fly over it, but we'll see. Ah, you came. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Master Kurohi, there is no way I can quit fishing. I must somehow become good enough to convince uh, Kururi and the others to let me keep my rod. This will require a lot of practice, which means I might end up pulling, uh, pulling up even more monsters from the sea. Thus I ask you, please sir, might you accompany me on my training sessions? I know it's a bold favor to request someone who, sa who saved me, not once, but twice now. However, I see no other way. You are the only one who can keep these monsters at bay. Truly, you are my last help. Alright, so let's double check. Is he the only last side quest here? It looks like it. So, in the next episode, we will help, uh, help Naoshi on his training. So, if you enjoyed this, give it a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on that beautiful face. If you'd like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Till next time. Later.